I was terrified. All of a sudden, I went from being totally healthy to finding out that my vital organs were shutting down. I'm Dr. David Fagenbaum, and I found my own cure for a rare disease. I was a healthy third year medical student at the time. I was training to become a doctor, and out of nowhere, I just started feeling really, really tired, more tired than I'd ever felt in my entire life. My heart and my lungs and my kidneys and my liver weren't functioning, and no one knew why. I just trusted that someone was gonna figure it out. Castleman disease is a rare immune system disorder where basically your immune system attacks your vital organs for no known cause. I remember just being absolutely devastated to know about the diagnosis, to think about the things that I wish I had done in my life. It was so difficult to continue to relapse after relapse after relapse, despite being treated by the best doctor in the world, and to realize that as much as I hoped for a treatment and hoped for a cure, that it wasn't going to come. I just knew that I would need to turn my hope into action. I would need to start doing things. I would need to start fighting back. I promised them that I would dedicate the rest of my life, however long that may be, trying to identify a treatment, maybe even a cure. Often we wait for the stars to align and a lot of things have to line up and then when they do, treatments are discovered, cures are discovered, patients' lives are saved. But when you have a rare disease, you don't want to wait for the stars to align. I really felt like I was up against the wall and that I had no more options. I was engaged to Caitlin at the time. I just wanted to make it to our wedding date. I was so disappointed that I wouldn't be able to have a family with Caitlin. So within a couple weeks of starting this medication, I started noticing improvements in symptoms and also in lab tests, blood tests. Then all of a sudden it was May 24th, 2014, and I was you know, standing at the altar saying, I do till death do us part in sickness and in health. It was amazing that the hard work from trying to find a drug, the risk had paid off to make it that far. And I was just so happy to be alive and so happy that I made it to that day. I wrote a book called Chasing My Cure to share the lessons so people don't have to go through what I did to learn all of these really, really important lessons about life. It doesn't necessarily have to be a disease, but what are the hardships or challenges and how can we turn our hope into action? How can we try to find humor in the midst of really, really tough times? It's not about hoping or acting. It's about hoping and then acting. It's acting on the things that you're hoping for.